Welcome to this YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 10 steps beginners should take before trying the keto diet. So, before starting this video, like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. It might be difficult to get started on the ketogenic diet, which is a high-fat, low-carb eating regimen. After all, it's probably a significant shift from your current eating habits, a typical standard American diet is high in carbohydrates and processed foods. However, many people are experimenting with the keto diet, which induces ketosis in the body. That's what happens when your body's carb burning switch switches to fat burning mode, a change that can lead to weight reduction and has even been linked to type 2 diabetes control, according to a tiny previous study. The ketogenic diet is gaining popularity, and for good reason. It's easy to follow and produces noticeable effects. Keto may be the diet for you if you want to reduce weight, gain energy, boost your brain function, lower your blood sugar levels, or improve your general health. However before learning how to begin a keto diet, we must first gain a better grasp of what it is and why it works so well. Understanding the what and why of this method of eating, as well as how to get started, is critical to your keto diet's success. In recent years, the keto diet has exploded in popularity. While there isn't much study on the best time frame, studies show that the keto diet can help you lose weight. As a result, the keto diet can serve as a starting point for eating well. Let's look at the mechanics underlying the keto diet before we discover how to implement it. Carbohydrates are broken down in the body to produce glucose, which is the body's major energy source. The keto diet's main goal is to lower glucose levels in the body and replace them with fat. The fat would be converted to ketones, which would provide your body with a clean source of energy. As a result, your blood sugar levels will be stabilized, and you will lose weight more successfully. When your body runs on ketones rather than glucose, you'll feel more energized, have fewer hunger pangs, and experience fewer mood swings. Keto, on the other hand, isn't only about cutting carbs and replacing them with fat. Before you begin this regimen, there are a few things you should be aware of. Beginner's Guide to the Keto Diet Number 10. Knowing the right fat. A healthy dosage of fat is required in an excellent keto diet plan for beginners. Olives, cottage cheese, almonds, avocado, eggs, and seafood like salmon are all good sources of heart-healthy unsaturated fats. Make healthier substitutions for rice, bread, and pasta, such as non-starchy greens and lean meat. The ketogenic diet should not be used as an excuse to consume excessive amounts of processed fat. Processed food has a lot of complex sugar and a lot of carbohydrates. To achieve the desired benefits, it is critical to concentrate on cleaner fats that are whole and unprocessed. Number 9. Do your research. Knowing everything there is to know about the keto diet is the best approach to get started. Read up on how to begin a keto diet from reputable sources online, as well as the accompanying benefits and concerns. Consult with friends and family members who follow the diet to get a sense of how it will affect your existing way of life. Analyze and read to see if you'll be able to keep the regime running smoothly. People are terrified of being obese, because they've been taught it'll kill them, Mancinelli says. What's perplexing is that today's research is still mixed. According to an article published in June 2018 in BMJ, some studies suggest that replacing saturated fat with polyunsaturated fat, and avoiding unhealthy trans fat, is important for reducing heart disease risk while others suggest that total fat and types of fat aren't linked to cardiovascular problems. 2. It's then difficult to figure out what to consume. It's important to remember that food is more than a single vitamin, and the entire quality of the diet is what matters, according to the scientists. They however add that more research is needed to determine the long-term health advantages and hazards of high-fat, low-carb diets. Start making tiny changes to what you eat every day to prepare for a high-fat diet, which can be uncomfortable at first, she recommends, such as getting a burger on lettuce leaves and substituting green vegetables for fries. Choose a non-starky vegetable to accompany your meal instead of potatoes or rice. Increase the amount of oil used in your cooking, such as olive or avocado oil. Realize that past dieting behaviors, such as grilling a basic skinless chicken breast, won't work on a keto diet since you won't receive enough fat. Number 8. Talk to your medical practitioner. Consult your physician to see if this eating plan is appropriate for you. You may be ineligible for this diet plan. If you have a certain medical condition, dietary restriction, or medication. The following are some of the conditions. Heart disease is a serious threat. 
breastfeeding and pregnancy. Pre-existing diseases of the liver, kidneys, and thyroid. One of the most prevalent misconceptions regarding the keto diet is that you may consume as much protein as you want. This is not true. But, as Ginger Halton, a Seattle-based registered dietitian, Academy of Nutrition spokeswoman, and owner of Champagne Nutrition, points out, this isn't just a carb-watching diet, you also need to control your protein intake. Protein can be turned to glucose, so consuming too much of it can knock you out of ketosis. Instead of the other way around, think of your ratios. As a little bit of meat topped with a substantial amount of fat. Number 7. Make a healthy keto meal plan. With the items you already have on hand, you can create a simple keto diet plan for beginners. To achieve the desired outcomes, create a diet chart with the needed calorie count and stick to it. Make sure you don't have too many cheat days, because even one cheat day can cause you to fall behind on your goals. This drink, which is made by combining coconut oil and butter into your coffee, can help to hold your hunger at bay, giving you time to plan your next meal, according to Mancinelli. Just keep in mind that coconut oil has the potential to raise LDL, or bad, cholesterol levels, so if you have heart disease or are at risk for it due to family or personal health history, you should probably avoid this drink. To be on the safe side, consult your physician. Number 6. Keep hydrating yourself. The most difficult aspect of this diet is maintaining electrolyte balance in your body. When you start a keto diet you'll notice that you'll be urinating more frequently and you'll be more prone to dehydration. Maintain a healthy level by drinking plenty of fluids at regular intervals. And consuming enough electrolytes like sea salt. Number 5. Eat the right amount. Eating appropriately is the key to a successful keto diet for beginners. Weight loss is frequently the primary motivation for starting a keto diet. To avoid any health problems, make sure you lose weight slowly and steadily. Weight reduction that occurs suddenly and drastically can be harmful to your general health and even fatal. You must consume the proper amount of macronutrients as well as fats on a regular basis. Protein is an important component of any meal. Too much of it, on the other hand, can stifle your ketone production. In general, a keto diet meal for beginners should consist of 20-25% to protein, 70-75% to fats, and fewer than 5% carbohydrates. You could try a protein supplement with a gradual release energy system, such as Gradual Protein Powder GRES. Mancinelli notes that when you're in ketosis, your kidneys expel more water and electrolytes. Make sure you're receiving enough salt and potassium to keep your body running smoothly. Consume non-starchy vegetables such as asparagus, kale, bell peppers, and arugula, as well as salted bone broth. Number 4. Be prepared for change. When you start keto, your body will take some time to adjust and may initially fight the diet. You may get flu-like symptoms in this situation. During the first few days, you may experience weariness, nausea, joint discomfort, and mental fogginess. Be patient and persistent, as these will pass with time. You can effectively control these symptoms by doing the following. Drinking a lot of water. Getting enough electrolytes in your system. Increasing the amount of non-saturated fat in your diet. The ketogenic diet isn't meant to be followed indefinitely. It's only meant to be used for a limited period of time. While some people go on a keto diet a few times a year, others use it to lose weight and improve their eating habits, according to Mancinelli. Number 3. Inform your family. Your meal plan will appear very different from that of your other family members the day you start the keto diet. You must maintain them informed about your diet plan and make certain that they comprehend it completely. While you may eventually return to your regular diet, they must be on the same page as you and understand your limitations. Number 2. Track your results. Keto is a great weight loss method, but it may not be suitable for everyone. You should keep track of your development and be on the lookout for any red signals. After a week of following this program, see if you feel better physically and mentally. Measure your weight on a daily basis, and have your blood work checked by your doctor. To begin started, you might wish to download a reputable ketone tracking program. Number 1. Know when to stop. Keto isn't a permanent diet, and you'll need to return to your regular routine after a while. However, after trying keto, some people make lifestyle adjustments and adopt a healthier diet plan. Your transformation must be gradual and continuous. Avoid going back to your old eating habits all at once. 
this would just lead to harmful weight gain, negating whatever benefits you may have gotten from the keto diet. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.